Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In a previous video, we checked out this mini PC. It was the Intel J4125, and it ran arcade games unmatched at its $165 price point. It came with Windows 10 Pro, you could do your taxes on it, you can shop on it, and it fit neatly at the back of your monitor. At the end of the video, I left it with a little teaser. Yeah, that's Badacera right there. Badacera is very much like RetroPie for the PC. Simply find a game you want to play, and bam, you're playing Bomberman. This is the same software that the Super Console X PC Supreme is using. We'll just be doing it a ton cheaper. We will also use an SSD. Batacera is on its own separate drive to Windows, so it will not slow or interfere with the main system. Crucial are a decent brand, but if you want the best, get a Samsung. You could also use a micro USB, but you know how fragile they can get. Yeah, this plastic bit can get very brittle and snap off. So, metal is good. Oop. IDDQD. We could also use the mechanical drive. You can't beat the price, but they're slow and prone to failure. That's why we're gonna use an SSD. Nice and quick. We want a snappy system. One more option is a micro SD, but mm, it's a lot of faffing. Not recommended. To get a two and a half inch drive in, we need to unscrew this, open her up, and then we can see the two and a half inch drive bay. Three screws later, we can pull this out. So this will hold our two and a half inch drive. It needs to be a SATA compatible one. So we'll take note where the pins are and then line it up with this drive and pop it in here. There are four holes here for the screws, but I only have two that fit, so I'll put one in here and one here. There are no moving parts in an SSD. We'll be good. So after making sure the SATA connection is in correctly, we can put it back together. Easy peasy. Now we can use this PC to actually install the Batocera software. Either choose the one on the right or the one on the left. Same file. Press the direct link to download it. We're also going to use Banana Man Etcher. I use this on all my serial. Open up Etcher, then drag the image file over to Flash from File. Select your target, which will be the SSD. And then Flash. Hit yes. Then go make a cup of tea. Recently I've been drinking Armored Tea. It's actually not bad. Once this is flashed, restart the computer and then keep banging delete to get to the BIOS. Use the right arrow key to move over to the boot menu and then go down to where it says UEFI hard disk drive properties. Here we select which drive starts the computer. Windows boot manager is obviously for Windows and this UFIOS is Batocera. Selecting it like this will load up Batocera every time you start your computer. If you wanted to then load up Windows, you can choose it here in the boot override. The opposite is also possible. After loading up, you'll see the Batacera user interface. Pushing a button on the USB control pad or keyboard will give you configure input. Hold down a key, and then it'll bring you this screen. Go through each of the buttons. If you wish to skip one, hold a button down. Make sure you set a hotkey too. If you have no extra buttons for it, use select. If you wanted to change the theme, hit up UI settings and go into theme set. Right now there's only one. If we make sure that the network cable is in, go down to updates and downloads, hit themes. There are quite a few to download with previews. All of these can be customized too. So if there's something you don't like, you can more than likely change it. There are a few shareware games installed, but to add some of our own, we can use another computer on the same network to copy them across. In Explorer, we type double backslash Batocera, then enter. And then we can see the share folder. Within here, we can copy over our BIOS files and our games files too, which need to go in their own separate folders. For more details on this, please check the Batocera wiki. And in the future, we may make some video guides, so please make sure to subscribe. The destination of the mini PC will be this arcade cabinet. I resprayed it put in a 27-inch Acer IPS monitor, and hooked up the sticks and buttons to USB encoders. This means we can use them 
as controllers for our PC. The one in here I got for around five bucks. Uh, you get what you pay for. The panel is from a Saturn arcade controller. I think the stick is a Seimitsu. While the buttons are sandwiches and one Baolong. Baolong! The sound is delivered by this very cheap sound amplifier. There are two small speakers behind these grills. So the sound will come from the mini PC to the monitor via HDMI, which is then wired to the amp and then outputs to the speakers. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. From stock install, Barosera has some funky music. It's so grooving awesome. On the right we have the systems list. Select one of these and we get a games list for that system. Selecting one of these will load up the game. Then to get back to the menu we can press hotkey and start and it'll pull us back. Let's check out some gameplay within Badassera. While some Saturn games played really well, Sega Rally does seem to be a little choppy. Did anyone know you could choose Rockman on Cannon Spike? Whilst this game is playable, it's probably running around 95% speed. Model 3 really does push the limit of the system. With PlayStation 2, games with 2D sprites will be playable, but as soon as you go 3D, it's gonna crawl.
After about six hours of constant use, it did get a little warm up here. So if you have a cabinet, it may be best leaving the top off. This mini PC is an extremely capable little unit. For the price, there is no real alternative. Adding Batacera to the mix allows us to have all your games in one handy list. Perfect for an arcade cabinet. Its limit seems to be Model 3 and PlayStation 2. For the time being, I'll be playing some Ganja Farmer. Thank you. 